Hi everybody. Today I'm showing you how to prevent the damages of an earthquake. I mean reduce the damages of an earthquake. So first we have to understand what is an earthquake. An earthquake is a is a movement of the tectonic plate plates. Tectonic plates are the puzzle pieces to the earth's crust. Tectonic plates also form the fault lines. So, um, but earthquakes aren't the one that kill. Um, it's the buildings that do. So for that, we have to reduce the shaking of shaking and falling down of the buildings. So here, so I researched many types of ways to reduce the shaking and falling of the buildings. But I'll just show you two ways. The first way is the is base isolation. The base isolation is a device. Um, is a device underneath the foundation of the building. It absorbs the energy but doesn't pass it on to the foundation. So the building won't shake as much as a normal building. And this is the tune mass damper. So it's, it's the tune mass damper and it goes on top of the building. So this is how a normal building shakes in the earthquake. This is how a base isolation shakes an earthquake. A base isolated building shakes. Now we will see the tune mass damper. So um, they both shake shake less than the normal building. Can we have a comparison of normal and the base isolation? You mean the tune and both of these? No, the normal building and the base isolation. So what you have to do, you have to look at the tops to see which one shake less. Oh God. So um, in this one, the top doesn't have to sh really shake, but in this one, if some guy was um, up here, he would fall down. So now we compare the base isolation and tune the sample. It appears that the tune mass damper doesn't actually shake that much. But the tune mass damper is good for skyscrapers like the TP1 and the Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa. The base isolation is good on like small houses like the house you are in right now. If you are living in an apartment, the tune mass damper is better. Thank you for watching. Bye.